Hey guys! So today we are making a Jurassic World cake. I'm excited about this because I'm really excited about this movie. We're making a baby dinosaur, a baby raptor, baby blue. I love the buttercream on this cake. I like the gray, the blue, the yellow. It all looks so nice. So let's get started. To create this cake, the first thing I did was hot glue gun a PVC pipe into the middle of my cake board. Once it hardened, I added my first layer of cake, which was a six inch round vanilla cake. I added some fresh blueberries into my vanilla cake. If I were to go back and do this again, I would probably add dry blueberries. Fresh blueberries always like sink to the bottom, whereas dried blueberries stay where you mix them in. Now I added a layer of vanilla buttercream into the middle and then I added a six inch dome cake or half dome cake. Now this needed a support, so I'm using a pipe coupler and just hammering it down into place with my knife. Is this ghetto? It looks kind of ghetto, but whatever. And I place a very small round piece of cardboard to support my next cake. Then I added my next layer of cake, which was an egg-shaped cake that I created with my egg pan. Now I added another coupler and some more cardboard so that it would support this bottom layer of cake. Eventually, I'm going to create a separate video that's very detailed and shows you how to create this like PVC pipe cake stand. And so you can build the same kind of cakes that I'm creating, but I'm still trying to lock everything down because I'm doing some things and then I'm improving them in future cakes and I want to make sure that the system is good to go. A lot of the stuff I'm using comes from Home Depot. I never knew that Home Depot was a place for like bakers, but it is. And I added my second egg shape to complete my raptor head. And then I took my serrated knife and started to carve away at my raptor's body. Now the first thing I did was start to shave away the sides to create my raptor's neck. And then I rounded out the bottom of his body. And then I defined his back legs on both sides of him. So while I was creating this, I was creating a green dragon and I was creating a black dragon for Halloween. And I realized that the raptor body would probably be easier to carve if I used a doll cake pen as opposed to the six inch round cake and then the dome cake on top. I think there would be a lot less cake scraps because it comes to a point more. Um, this is just a theory though. I haven't tested it out in the next cake. I will test that out. I want to like improve on this basic shape as much as possible because you can totally turn this into like a whole bunch of different animals. I'm like imagining this as like a unicorn, as a giraffe. There's like so many animals that I'm going to turn this basic shape into and I'm excited. Now after I was finished with my raptor's body, I moved on to his head. I just took my serrated knife and just started to straighten out the slope on the top. And I wanted his snout to be narrower than the back of his head. So I was shaving away some cake on the sides. The whole time I was doing this, I was just thinking to myself, this needs to look less like an egg and more like a dinosaur. Now for my raptor tail, I added some buttercream to the back of my raptor and then just placed on some cake scraps. You know, his tail's like really stubby, so I didn't need that much cake back there. After that, I gave this baby a crumb coat. And it was really funny because I was at a party two days ago and I was talking to another baker and telling her how much like I just love the crumb coat. It's like the cleanup. You clean up all the crumbs, they get stuck on this layer of frosting, and then it looks bomb afterwards. I think this is the most soothing part of the cake process. After I gave this baby a crumb coat, I placed it into the fridge to chill for a little bit, and I was reading Entertainment Weekly. I purchased this latest issue of Entertainment Weekly because they were talking about Aquaman, and it just looks fantastic. There aren't that many pictures, but they show you what Atlantis looks like and they show you all the creatures that the Atlanteans are going to be riding. Instead of sea horses, they're going to be riding sea dragons. They're riding great white sharks and they're riding crocodiles with armor. The creature design is absolutely incredible. In my head, I'm already like, I could turn this into a cake. I want to turn this into a cake. Just go check it out. It looks so cool. I took my cake out of the fridge and I gave it a final layer of buttercream. I'm covering my entire cake in a light gray buttercream. 
just worked my way all over his head and body. You can definitely cover this cake with gray fondant, but I love buttercream, so I'm trying to use it as much as possible, especially on 3D cakes. Now, after I covered my entire cake, I placed it back into the fridge for about 30 minutes just so that the butter could solidify. Then I took it out and started to refine all of my buttercream edges. Now because I am creating a buttercream cake, I'm not trying to get the surface of the buttercream completely flat. I'm just making sure that you can see all of the detail that I carved away earlier. I just love the texture. I think it looks so cool. Just working my way all the way around the cake, making sure that you can see the definition of the legs that I created, that I kept the neck sort of very trim and thin, and that I carved away the tail so that it looked cleaner. And once I was finished, I placed my raptor back into the fridge and I started to work on more of his details. Now I rolled out some very bright orange and I let it sit out for about two hours. Now, now I cut out a circle using one of my cookie cutters and then I added some detail using some yellow and white food coloring. I didn't want it to just be orange so I added like this like firework shape into the middle. I diluted some black food coloring with some vodka and added that to the edges of the eye. And then I gave my raptor two catch lights with white fondant. A big one and then a tiny one to give it a little bit more of a sparkle. And I set that aside and started to work on my raptor's extremities, his limbs, his arms, his feet. I created some light gray fondant that's the same color as my dinosaur. For his feet, I rolled it into like a soft triangle. That's what I'm going with. I don't know. <laughs> and then I just separated three toes for his feet. For his hands, I rolled my gray fondant into this like long tube and using my fingers, I just separated it at the wrist so that you can see definition between his hands and the rest of his arm. And I separated three fingers from that using some sculpting tools. And then to create my raptor claws, I just used some charcoal fondant. I rolled it into different sized spikes and then curved them to create the claws. I'm going to attach these to my feet and my hands with some magic sauce and for the larger claw I used a toothpick to hold it into place. Now when I was growing up dinosaurs were like my jam dude. I liked the Triceratops and the Brontosaurus because I fell in love with them with um, A Land Before Time and then when Jurassic Park 2 came out I fell in love with the Tri- no no no. The Stegosaurus, that was the one that I was like, what? The scene where like the mama Stegosaurus is trying to protect her like baby, I was like, this is bomb. Let me know in the comments what your favorite dinosaur was and what dinosaur you'd like to see me create on this channel. And I set all of my pieces aside and I started to work on my raptor again. Blue has two stripes on like both sides. It started his eyes and they will like go all the way down to his tail. So I used some sculpting tools and I just marked where I wanted those stripes to be. I wanted them to kind of be bigger because his head is huge and then I just made each stripe a little thinner as it got closer to her tail. It's a girl, right? Blue's a girl, not a boy. Because my boyfriend's the alpha and she's the beta, right? I got it, I got it. Now using a piping bag, I piped out some white buttercream and just piped them along the lines I created. And using an offset spatula, I just started to spackle on the white, covering the lines that I carved and just working my way all the way down to his tail. The texture of the buttercream looks really cool. It looks like an art project. Now using the white buttercream as a guide, I piped out a layer of blue buttercream and using my offset spatula, I'm just spackling it down, making sure I cover the inside of my stripe. These stripes look different on each eye. I just wanted them to have very different, very natural looking shapes. Now I spackled on a little bit of yellow detail into the blue. I thought it would look really nice with the orange eye. And then I covered his tummy with some yellow buttercream as well. Now I added on all of my raptor's limbs, his hands and both of his feet. Then I placed on both eyes. And then using a black rope of fondant that I created with this 
What is this? Clay extruder? Fondant extruder? Yeah, something like that. I just added it on to create his mouth. And then I finished it with some coconut shavings that I colored to look like hay. And voila, my baby raptor, baby blue, was complete. He looks so cute. Oh my god, I This... I'm excited. This looks really good. I love the 3D shape I was able to create. I love the subtleness of the gray and how it makes the blue, the orange, and the yellow pop. I am over the moon for this movie. I'm so excited. I heard a lot of really good things and that just like super scary. And I heard that marketing kind of dropped the ball when it came to promoting this movie because they said that the trailers and the TV spots don't do the movie justice. Which makes me really happy because I'm glad they didn't give that much away. Now I'm curious, are you gonna watch Jurassic World opening weekend? I am. I bought Thursday night tickets and I bought Friday night tickets because I wanted to make sure that if I couldn't go to one showing I had like a backup plan you know I hope you guys enjoyed this I love you I will see you very soon peace